All right, what's happening, y'all? It's your boy Rico from Street Scores bringing y'all another Redskins video. Check out the new setup and everything. You feel me? We got the words going across the bottom. We got Brody on the phone. What I'm talking about on the TV, some of my favorite things down here. First of all, RP to my boy Kobe Bean Bryant, man. We lost the real one today, man. But today I'm talking to y'all about some of the players that the Redskins have met with over the East Shrine game in the Senior Bowl and what this could mean. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Check out the new final intro. Let's get it. Alright, so from the East-West Shrine Bowl, the Redskins met with quarterback Kelly Bryant, which is interesting. Anytime a team meets with quarterbacks, it's interesting, but he might go undrafted or go in one of those really late rounds. So it's not like he's being brought in to dethrone Dwayne Haskins, but they're looking at backup quarterback options, and that's what's really interesting about it, because Cole McCoy, after that Dallas game, just stayed in Texas. He already knew. Jay Gruden gone, he's gone. And then Case Keenum has already said that he expects to not be back with his team next year. He acknowledged out loud that Dwayne Haskins looks like the franchise quarterback for this team. And Case Keenum said that he would love to come back, but he knows that it's very likely that he won't be coming back. So the Redskins were more than likely looking to be adding quarterbacks, backup ones at that, either through free agency or late in the draft. Or they might see what Alex Smith can do as a backup quarterback. We'll see. But I just wanted to talk about that because they did meet with the quarterback, Missouri quarterback Kelly Bryant. They also met with offensive tackle Cameron Clark, defensive end Michael Dana, defensive tackle Khalil Davis, safety Jeremiah Denson, running back Rico Dowdle, defensive end Austin Edwards, wide receiver Chris Finke, safety Jordan Glasgow, wide receiver John Hightower, Offensive tackle Jared Hilbers, running back Adrian Killens, center Frederick Maigua, I hope that's how you pronounce that, I'm probably butchering a few of these, cornerback Parnell Motley, defensive tackle John Penincini, outside linebacker Michael Pinckney, defensive end James Smith Williams, that was the easiest name by far, linebacker Kaiva Tizino, defensive end Derek Tuska, and outside linebacker Mikhail Walker. Quite a bit of offensive linemen, wide receivers, running backs. There's always going to be defensive linemen, no matter how good your defensive line already is. And there were two safeties, and that is all noteworthy. But even most importantly, let's get to these senior bowl meetings. Now, these are important because the Redskins, as of late, have been drafting senior bowl players. Like, a lot. I mean, even just last year, Terry McLaurin out the third round. Montez Sweat in the first, Ross Pierschbacher in the sixth, and Jimmy Moreland in the seventh. All of those players played in the Senior Bowl and shined somewhat, especially Terry McLaurin. He went stupid in the Senior Bowl, and that's probably one of the main reasons we ended up drafting him. They saw what he did in the Senior Bowl and was like, we got to take a chance on him at the third round pick. And now look at him. So the East-West Shrine Bowl meetings may have some type of clues for who we may draft or bring in as undrafted free agents. But the Senior Bowl, especially based on the past, definitely has implications on who we may draft come late April. As far as Senior Bowl, the Redskins met with LSU center Lloyd Cushenberry, and he had a really good Senior Bowl, one of the most consistent offensive linemen out there. Then you also have Penn State linebacker Cam Brown, and those were all Tuesday. Then come Wednesday, the Redskins met with Ohio State linebacker Malik Harrison, who's probably going to go the soonest out of every player I name in this video. He might not even make it to our third round pick. He's that good. He's literally everything you want in a linebacker. Football IQ, tackling, he sheds blocks, he's great through traffic, sure tackler, all of that. The only thing he's missing is coverage. And he's not terrible. He's not Mason Foster bad, but it's also not his strong suit. Sean Dion Hamilton and Ruben Foster easily have better coverage ability than him and Ryan Anderson. So like I said, I doubt he even makes it to our third round pick. And that's very interesting that we met with them because they may not be ready to believe in Ruben Foster. They may be like, take Malik Harrison and go with Cole Holcomb, Ryan Anderson, and Sean Dion Hamilton. And then just hope Ruben Foster works out, but don't bet on it, which makes a lot of sense. And then they also met with Texas offensive tackle Terrence Steele. So with the Senior Bowl having a stronger presence on who we may draft 
or what positions we're looking for. The Redskins look like they're clearly looking at linebackers and offensive line. Like I said, at the Senior Bowl, they met with a center, three linebackers, and an offensive tackle. So hopefully if we re-sign Eric Flowers, Brandon Sheriff, and bring back Trent, they're looking to try to get an upgrade or a better backup solution for the center. And the same thing with tackle. They may be looking to replace Morgan Moses or at least find a better backup because Jerron Christian is not it right now at all. And I don't think he ever will be. His biggest weakness is strength. And we've seen no progress in that category so far. Or if it has been, it hasn't been noticeable enough for him to win battles consistently at the NFL level. But let me talk some more about the center Lloyd Cushenberry because he had a very nice week at the Senior Bowl this week. And I hope the Redskins go and get him in one of those later rounds. Maybe the fourth. At six foot four, 315 pounds, he was out there holding it down at the center position. And most notably, he was voted the best offensive lineman out of the entire Senior Bowl roster from the entire week. And what's very interesting is that the votes come in from players that play against that position group. So the defensive line voted for who was the best offensive lineman. And Lloyd Cushenberry was the one that was voted for. He made himself some money at Senior Bowl week. And even just from looking at his tape, remember, he was the starting center for LSU. One of the best offenses we've ever seen play in college football with Joe Burrow going stupid. And the thing I like most is that he started at center in the SEC, which means he blocked against the best of the best throughout an entire year. Remember, they went against Clemson, Georgia, Alabama, Oklahoma, and many other great teams out there. And he blocked well against all of them. And what's crazy too from his film, he looks to be great at almost everything it takes to be a center. IQ, strength, he has more length than most centers have, his feet are ridiculously smooth, he's very well balanced, he's strong. His only problem is consistency, and I feel like great coaching can get that out of him. So if we can grab him in the fourth, that would be a huge steal. I mean, huge. He has everything you want a center to have, except for consistency. Honestly though, I feel like the most important role at the Senior Bowl though, is for those who are at the FCS and in D3 level schools to show what they can do against FBS players in Power 5 competition. This is the best time to see what they can do. No longer are they going against people who are doctors and lawyers and all kinds of stuff and are only playing football just because it's fun. Now they're going against people whose lives revolve around football. And out of the group, the most notable were tight end Adam Trotman, which is a big position to need for us, safety Kyle Duggar, and also safety Jeremy Chin. All three of those prospects made a name for themselves this senior bowl week, coming from the FCS and D3, and showed that they can hang with the big boys, and not only hang, but outperform them as well. And I'm very interested in seeing if the Redskins will ever meet with those players, or at least made sure that they got a great look at them, review them on film, and Go get them boys, man. But of course, when the scouting combine comes out and then those player meetings come out and all of that information, of course, I'm gonna report that and I'm gonna analyze some of the notable players like I did in this video. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. I appreciate the support. Let me know if y'all are a fan of this new setup. You know what I'm saying? I'm still tweaking it. I might add some stuff, might change the background. Right now, I'm in a Redskins locker room. May change that. We'll see though. And for those of y'all who don't know, the cologne is YSL. I tried to find a little home, but I couldn't. But my favorite cologne is YSL La Home. That's Halo 3, my favorite video game of all time. Peach Crush, my favorite drink. Rush Hour, one of my favorite movie series. Just to put it out there while that's there. And then of course at the bottom, make sure y'all check that out. Please donate all of that. Please subscribe, like the video, follow me on Twitter. All that information is gonna be infinitely scrolling at the bottom. But yeah, man, appreciate the support from everybody, man. Thank y'all for all of the feedback. I'm going to get back to y'all in the comments. I know I've been slipping on the comments. I'm about to get to everybody and reply to everybody. Just been very busy trying to get this setup done. I finally, oh, I guess one of the biggest announcements is that I finally got the PC. I went to go build one myself. I picked out everything. I picked out the RAM. I picked out the processor, everything. Built it from scratch, from the bottom up, got the case, bought the webcam, and now I need an actual external webcam because my Mac laptop came with one. So I had to get that set up. I had to learn all the specs and stuff. Um, I had to start all the way over with my streaming software, with OBS and everything. I set it up brand new on my PC. I don't even have a PC monitor yet. It's literally being projected onto my TV. I see it on my actual TV 
that I watch TV and play Xbox on. And it's just a lot of things that's new, man. I mean, I had to buy my own Wi-Fi for it. I had to buy a little Wi-Fi stick on Amazon, a little Bluetooth stick on Amazon. It didn't come with Wi-Fi. I mean, I literally built this from scratch. And then I got a cheap keyboard and mouse. I'll probably upgrade that later once I get more donations and stuff. But it does the job, so I really, you know, so I'm not bugging on that right now. But yeah, man, we got the PC built. I will show y'all, but the room around me is a mess. This locker room looks way better than what my room looks like right now, especially with Brody's toys everywhere. This man done dominated the room. But yeah, man, I appreciate the support. I will be getting back to y'all in the comments. Don't worry about that. I know I'm late, but I'm getting to them. Make sure you like the video. If you learned anything, if you liked it, please subscribe. Please get in them comments and let me know how you feel about the new layout. And let me know how you feel about some of these prospects that the Redskins are looking at and talking to during the East West Shrine game and the Senior Bowl week and all of that. And again, also, RIP to that boy Kobe Bryant. Catch y'all later. I'm out.